Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halleck. This week we're coming to you from the village of Port Henry, which in November got bad news when it found out one of the biggest employers here in the region, the state prison just a few miles from here, had been added to a hit list and is scheduled to close next month. In all, New York State is planning on shutting down six prisons, including two in the North Country, the other a medium security prison in Ogdensburg. The state says shutting down all six will save $142 million. Unlike the other prisons, though, Mariah Schock has no walls, no fences. It is a treatment and rehabilitation program that many say is a highly successful alternative to more traditional prisons, which is why so many in this community were so surprised, even shocked, when they found out it was being added to the state's hit list. It's heartbreaking. We have young children. Nalita Rodriguez's partner and her two brothers all work at Mariah Schock and now face the likelihood they'll have long commutes to other prisons in hopes of finding work. Um, to think about us all not being together is devastating. It's absolutely devastating. Her friend, Christina Slattery, who has worked as an office clerk at Mariah Schock for more than 20 years, is facing some of the same tough decisions. So for me to have to either uproot my daughter and myself um, to move closer to a facility, the closest is an hour from Mariah Shock. So for me to have to do that is going to be a significant life change for me and my daughter. I feel like this is going to be life altering for more than just us that work there. It's gonna be awful for our community a community that could now lose up to 125 jobs. It still really hasn't sunk in yet. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be us. Billy Joe Simpson, who has also worked at the prison for more than 20 years, can't understand why the Corrections Department and Governor want to close a program that, by most accounts, works in helping nonviolent inmates get their lives back on track. Rigorous boot like camp program that includes six months of intense exercise, education, and work experience in exchange for a shorter sentence. We give them the tools that they need to be successful in their life after jail. I don't even understand this. Like you're saying, this is what um, Department of Corrections should be like rehabilitating people and putting them back out into society. And you're going to close the one place that actually is successful at doing that. We offer every program and everything that the governor would like the state to do for incarcerated individuals. And the money that we would save more than enough runs our jail. And as the number of inmates in New York has dropped over the past several years to nearly half of what it was in the 90s, the program at Mariah Shock has been credited for some of that success, rehabilitating inmates and helping to keep them from reoffending and being sent back to prison. The programs that we offer are what she wants, and I just don't understand how you could cut something that you actually want. And while the governor's office points to her state of the state and promised to appoint a commission to help find new uses for the prisons being closed, many are skeptical, pointing to the several prisons closed over the past decade in the North Country that still to this day remain empty. These communities are getting hammered up here the last several years. We've lost Clinton Annex just here this spring. Line Mountain Gabriels, Mount McGregor, now Mariah Shock, Chattagay, they're not being repurposed. If you drive by Line Mountain, the prison's boarded up. Chattagay's sitting there, um, dormant, nothing happening. Places like Augensburg, Mariah, Chattagay um, opened up prisons um, in their communities, took these prisons that no other communities wanted back in, at the time, um, especially downstate. And you know, now they're shuttering the prisons the communities that got built around these are taking the brunt of this, and that's unfortunate. I don't think the overall outlook was how is it going to affect the community. I think it is overall, can I save a dollar here and some dollars there? It's hurting these communities bad. 